welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I was in Tokyo, and this video is Kyoto. So, in the morning, we took the Shinkansen to Kyoto from Tokyo, like I said. We did book our tickets a little bit in advance, I think maybe two days early, and we booked a seat reservation for the right side of the train so that we could see Mount Fuji. When we arrived in Kyoto, the first thing that we did was just drop our bags off at our hotel. And then we took a bus to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. At the entrance to the Bamboo Forest, there's this little street with a bunch of shops and little stalls where you can get food, and it was really cool. We got those strawberries. I've never had one of those before, but it was really good. And then we just walked through the Bamboo Forest. It was not too crowded, but it was a little bit crowded. After that, we walked down this pretty path towards town and just slowly made our way over to the monkey park. And we walked along this river, which was really pretty. It was super blue. We came across these Hello Kitty construction cones, which I thought was really funny. I feel like that's the kind of thing that you would definitely only see in Japan. On the way to the monkey park, we were getting hungry, so we decided to stop and get some lunch. We went to this little food stall. I'm not really sure exactly what it was called, but we went to a little restaurant that had a bunch of different vendors inside of it, and we tried some seafood, and then we got this udon. This udon ended up being one of my favorite things that I ate in Japan, which was kind of surprising because it was totally unplanned and very spur of the moment. Next, we just walked up the trail to the monkey park. The monkeys at the park are technically wild monkeys. They can come and go as they please. It started to rain as we were leaving this part of Kyoto. We decided to take a bus to the Gold Temple, which was super pretty. It was definitely one of my favorite things in Kyoto. While I was here, I also got some matcha ice cream and it was really good. After that, we were hungry for dinner, so we decided to get food and we went to this restaurant that has curry, like Japanese curry, and it was another one of my favorite meals. Then we just checked into our hotel and we just hung out at the hotel and went to sleep. 
The next morning, we woke up really early and we went to the Fushimi Inari Shrine. I don't know the formal name for it, but I will put it on the screen. We wanted to get here really early because I heard that it can get super crowded and it can be difficult to get good pictures and be able to like walk through the paths and everything. We didn't get here like insanely early. I think we got here around like 8 a.m. maybe just for like reference in case you're planning a trip. I read that this shrine has approximately 10,000 Tori gates which is absolutely insane. The path leading up to the top of the mountain is pretty long, but I recommend you do the whole trail because I just think it's fully necessary to see it and really experience it. I think walking the whole thing maybe took around two hours or something. Next, we went to the Gion district of Kyoto. This is the part of Kyoto that is super famous and very crowded, but it wasn't crowded everywhere, only in certain parts. Um, I heard that they're limiting this area to tourists, like tourists aren't allowed in some parts of this area soon, so if you're planning to go, make sure to look that up. Then we came to this massive wooden temple that is really, really impressive. It was definitely one of my favorite things in Kyoto. I read that there is not a single nail used in the wooden part of the structure, which is insane. I don't even understand how they can build it this strong and have it last for that long without using any nails. The views from this temple were amazing and 
It was just really pretty, and I really enjoyed coming to this temple. Then we were hungry for dinner, so we got ramen, and after that we just went to sleep, and we went to Nara the next day. We are leaving Kyoto today, and we're going to Nara. We're taking the train. I'm not... I think the train ride is around like an hour, but... Kyoto has been super fun. Anyway, we did pretty much everything I intended to do in Kyoto. So I feel very satisfied with everything that we got done. And it was really fun. Kyoto has been my favorite place compared to Tokyo so far. But now we're going to Nara. And then we're going to spend one night in Nara. And then next after that is Osaka. So yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to go to Nara and see the deer.